So Joey cut down and the broad got away. We was grabbing a cup of java. A cup of java? I ain't paying you to drink coffee. We was getting one for Joey too. Listen up, Jingle Brain. We got more to settle than a cup of joe. Since you messed up with the Jane, we need to move the ice and soon. You want us to bump off the dame in the gumshoe? Don't be a bunny. You messed up once already. I think we should sneeze the ice before the dame and the gumshoe have a chance to get the choppers in on this. And then when they go looking for the ice, it won't be there. We could get pinched doing that. Not if we do it tomorrow night. They won't have time to convince the coppers and won't expect us to stick to the plan. Yeah, that's good. Don't gum every play I make. I'm not nixing it, boss. I just... Yeah, you big palooka. Just do what I say and we'll be okay. You're the boss. Yeah, and don't forget it. It was about 3 p.m. when I awoke, and Liz was sitting in the great room reading. Okay, Liz, we've put it off long enough. I need to know where Big Jimmy hid the ice so I can get the lay of the land. Well, I really didn't catch as much of their conversation as he thinks, but I did overhear him say that they buried the diamonds in Rolling Hills Cemetery. They're supposed to dig them up sometime this evening. Hmm. We need to put a stop to that. He knows you're onto him, and the only way Big Jimmy will ever leave you alone is if he's in a slammer or six feet under. Does your brother know anything about this? No, I didn't tell him. I think we need to get the cops involved. Let's get moving. We don't have a lot of time. There are some clothes that might fit you in the closet. Thanks. I'll be right back. After a quick call to a buddy of mine in the police force, we took my heap and headed into the city. The place looks deserted. Yeah, it's scary. Too scary. Let's get over to that mausoleum and wait for him. Liz and I found a good hiding spot near a small mausoleum where we had a good view of the cemetery. We waited for a while and were about to call it quits when I saw a few men enter the cemetery. I made one to be Big Jimmy but couldn't make out the other torpedoes he had with him. That must be where they hit the diamonds. Yeah, let's let them do the dirty work for us. We watched as they made their way to a grave and began to dig. They pulled something from the grave and were about ready to leave. Wait here, I'm going to see if I can stop them. But... Don't worry, just stay here. I made my way towards Big Jimmy with my gun drawn. I managed to get the drop on them. Hold it right there, boys. I think someone wants to have a talk with you. What you doing? You know who you're messing with? Yeah, I know, and you're going down. The cops will be here any minute, so... I saw a flash of red out the corner of my eye before I blacked out. When I came to, I could hear the sound of gunfire all around. The cops had Big Jimmy and his boys pinned down. I scampered to my feet and drew a bead on Big Jimmy. Drop it or you're a dead man. He turned to fire at me and I gave him the heat. He fell to the ground in a heap. Come on out in the open, boys. You're through. When they stepped out into the open, I was surprised to see that Maria was with them. Cops moved in and hauled them away as Liz came and stood beside me. Thanks again, Johnny. No problem. I'm glad to have helped. I'd even take you to dinner if the four aces hadn't been destroyed. We could always go to your cabin. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we could. <laughs>